Luli Farm Guy here, and in this video, we'll be looking at a game changing auto load update to this Flegel flatbed semi trailer by Top Ace 888. Yes, I said game changing because let's get our windows on here. You can now auto load three different, um, three, three different types of pallets onto one trailer using this system and we will show you all about it in this it is it took me a while to figure it out but once you get it figured out wow is this ever um wow yes so 6.02 megabytes to download and slot counts bail load it's under bail loaders slot counts are seven slots yeah seven slots each so first of all where do we find it well as I said, bail loaders, because it is also a bail loader and flat deck and everything else. We have two sizes. We have a uh, semi-trailer and a small one. So 60,000 liters, that's, yes, it has a capacity, round bales and square bales, um, 125 to 189 and 180 to 249. Same with the other one, just the capacity is smaller. And yeah, so let's let's take a look at it first here. Uh, not a lot has changed in here other than the bale auto load and pallet auto load. So you have those three choices. Uh, Continental, the tires there, decals. I don't think anything has changed with the decal coloring. Uh, attachers, you can have a trailer hitch, so you can string a bunch of them together. Chassis color, um, your standard colors there. Flatbed color, yes, 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 and rim colors. Okay, so uh, that's all pretty standard. However, when it comes into like a wowzer factor, well, <laughs> however, let's talk about the bale. So, um, change log 1.030 extended support for more bale sizes so more bale sizes are supported however uh, uh liftable bales are not supported just so you know all right l1 and stop unloading operating position so pretty much as a bale trailer it operates um quite uh, quite the same however if you take a look we have uh, work mode L3 uh, ground or flatbed so if I press this it's actually you have to lift them onto the flatbed if you press this and it says flatbed it's actually on the ground as we will come across come forward here where is it uh, I always get confused with that uh, okay sorry I was wrong come on why is it not working uh, it's an operating position okay so I was right come on there we go it's a little bit it it's a little bit um, yeah you gotta get kinda close come on there we go It doesn't have a super huge um, pickup area like picking it up from a long way away. You have to get quite close. There we go. So, just to show you the bale loading, in case you were wondering, unloading it has quite a number. Why does this not want to turn very sharp? Unload is triangle, and then you can unload like this up and down r1 you get this and in l1 and r1 you have so every sort of kind of <laughs> adjustment that you want you can have uh, on there right that is the bale loader the auto load pallet trailer let's um let's move this aside for a moment and we'll buy a new one and we'll show you how it works so because if it, if we start fresh that's how you get it from the store 
and uh, we're gonna buy a new one because um, it is it is a bit of a um, shall we say a bit of a process come on where's the bail loaders there it is right so we'll take the large one we go to bail uh, pallet auto load and just buy it so there it is this is now will auto load pallets right so now that we hook it up we have several options we have select work mode ground or we have flatbed so if we choose ground that is it will pick stuff off the ground uh, L1 and triangle loading area mark on when you press that you get this and you can L1 and right stick and this is actually you control where the pallets load from onto your vehicle now notice something here that i want to point out specifically is these marks on the trailer these marks indicate back middle and front sections corresponding with these three sections here why is that significant well that's because this as i said before this auto load trailer can load three different products um, all at w well not all at once but it can hold three different products at once and i will demonstrate uh the, to the best of my ability how that is accomplished now let's and this actually this one will pick up liftable pallets so in in the interest of uh ease of uh, ease of doing this so now we had and it will automatically load them you don't have to press as soon as the pallet comes into the area it will start automatically loading now notice that nothing is appearing yet and that's okay because uh, it actually takes a few I think it's 2,000 liters for it to appear as one box yes so uh, uh there we go 2000 liters now this is how they look they don't have any you, you won't be able to tell by looking at the box so you kind of have to the only thing uh tricky about this is you kind of have to be careful if you want to keep the areas separate that you don't accidentally sneak a box in here because it won't show up unless there's 2,000 liters. And if you only have um, a couple thousand liters in here, it's not going to load anything else. So let's try a different product. Let's say uh, fabric. And we want to load that on the middle one. Now, you don't have to choose the middle one. You can choose any, any one you want. But the middle one is a little tricky because... As I said, um, so what is a technique that you can use? Well, remember you can move this up and down and side to side. If you come up and you want to load stuff from the ground, so you don't have liftable pallets. It's like, okay, well, I don't have liftable pallets. Let's, we want to load this on the middle. So you can pull up to here where the middle is and then come back over here and move you have to move the truck you have to move it a little bit for it to start loading but as you can see here come on start loading uh, 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 uh. come on start loading oh now it's not now it doesn't want to work Come on, move, you got to move it, move it. There we go. Kind of have to nudge the pallets a little bit. There we go. So that is also another, let's say technique or trick. It might be a little bit finicky. Um, it's, oh yes. And um, uh, if you have other uh, auto loads, mods on your map it might 
it might interfere with that you might it might go a little goofy so just so you're aware there we go so pull up there and it will load on the front so now we have as you can see by our containers three different products on this that we have auto loaded onto this trailer now we could turn that pickup off we can go over here and so if you don't want anything else to pick be picked up while you drive drive around it so so this is active still if you're driving next to stuff it might pick it up so what do you do well go here r1 and l3 work mode for trailer and now you won't accidentally pick anything up because it will have to be lifted up onto the flatbed now how do you get rid of this stuff off of here well you can manually unload but then it kind of unloads everything but <clears throat> what you can do is notice uh, notice we have the tip side front tip side middle and tip side back well that's there for an interesting reason now uh, this only works if you have the selected mo work mode as flatbed and that's because and L1 and triangle turns those flatbed markers on and off too so let's say we want to sell fabric off of this trailer that's okay so let's choose middle because that's where our fabric is on the middle and as we drive over a sell point or a place to unload fabric that takes fabric take a look at that select or start overloading fabric now wait a minute oh, it's like oh wait I don't want to do the fabric let's just change it to what oh there's our cereal oh L R1 and down on your d-pad you can cycle through which ones you want to sell ah that is fantastic okay so we sell the fabric there we go the fabric is being sold but nothing else will sell unless you say you want you want it to uh, let's say go the tip side back cereal okay sold the cereal now what if we want to fill it with something else well let's see here start filling with wheat there we go we can fill the middle with wheat how much wheat uh, 30,000 liters of wheat and um, can we sell that I think the same thing applies here uh, front middle there we go so remember it's in the middle R1 you have to have a uh, work mode flatbed R1 middle start unloading there goes your wheat so uh, can you unload into a silo that's a great question let's see here if I have a silo that we can yes so let's put this silo down over here and the silo should accept wheat we have wheat here as yes so look at that and we're unloading our wheat into the silo so um yeah quite an amazing uh oh i think we i can we can actually this is a multi this is a multi uh oh oh it's not accepting the oil for some reason Oh, that's interesting because this is a liquid holds liquids but we can also fill wheat from a silo as you can see here and depending which which one you're over it will fill that section so uh, just remember the five percent rule if you have less than five percent in uh, of capacity in something uh, you can override that by filling it with something else so in conclusion <laughs> uh, this is quite um, wow just being just having just having a modder being able to figure this out how it all works and it actually wasn't uh, it took me a little while to figure out how it all how it all worked but once you understand the basic concept of it I don't think it's all that complicated it seems pretty straightforward once you understand how everything works but anyways hopefully this uh, this 
video will help you understand how it works and hopefully you have some fun with it. And that's the update to the um, Flegel flatbed semi-trailer by Top Ace 888 on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching and remember, it's only a game. So till the next one, bye for now. Thank you.